Zach. MRC has uh, just put out a uh, videotape that you can um, you can find. Is it up on the Blaze? I think it is. Okay. Yeah, the Media Research Center. These guys do really good work and the, really good stuff. You remember what was it last week or two weeks ago? We found out that uh, over in the Hague uh, we had um, uh, you know uh, the activist groups. NAACP. NAACP. Yeah, Ben Activist Jealous was there. Trying to convince the global court that America was being racist because we were we were saying that you, you need to have a, um, uh, a a form of ID to go vote. Supposedly that's disenfranchising voters and especially uh, minorities. I, I, I can't for the life of me understand it. Really? Didn't, didn't he say something to the effect of 75% of yes. black men don't have ID? Ben Jones said. Ridiculous like that? He said some, so who's 75%? some, according to some estimates. Who's? His. Your brother's? <laughs> 75% don't have IDs? That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's bull crap. Bull. It's total bull, bull crap. crap. Um, but yet, again, nobody will hold anybody accountable. Well, um, uh, the uh, Media Research Center went out and they started asking African Americans, do you think you need to have an ID to be able to vote? Listen. Hi, I'm Dan Joseph with MRC TV. Right now, a lot of states are trying to pass voter ID laws. An NAACP delegation traveled to Geneva, Switzerland, to make the case before the United Nations that voter ID laws approved in 31 U.S. states, all there on that map, violate human rights by suppressing the vote and voice of millions of American citizens who disproportionately are people of color. That's racist. We wanted to know what the people thought. Do you think um, you should have to show some form of identification before you vote? You do? I think I should. You should? No, yeah. yeah okay. I really do. You know. Do you think you should have to show ID when you go in and vote? Yes. Nah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't? Yeah. Of course you should have to show ID before you go in to vote. Um, yes. Yes? Yes. So they know who you are. So they know who you are? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Do you think you should have to show ID when you go to vote? Yes. Yes. I vote think that you should. Okay. You think so too? Voter fraud, of course, if you don't, yeah, have, you don't have, yeah, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That person can come in six or seven times. Well, yeah, actually, point to him and say what. Oh, you don't want to be on camera? No. Oh, that's cool. Okay, but yeah. Oh, but um, You've got the expense. You've got the effort. Uh, there's uh, difficulties for, for many people in getting a photo ID. So you're literally just throwing a barrier in the way of someone who's trying to exercise their right to vote. I, I guess they think that minorities have a harder time getting ID. Do you think there's any credibility to that? You have an ID. My own children, they have ID. You have an ID. I have ID. Okay. My my high school children have ID. How do you prove who you are, and not not someone else when you go in and try to vote? I know your social security number. Social security number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because anybody can get ID. That's what I say. Anybody can get ID. I think that's just an excuse. I don't think it's discrimination at all. I mean, it's pretty standard. You have to have an ID in America, whether you're black, white, Indian, it doesn't really matter. Do you have an ID? I actually do have an ID. Okay, good. I have my ID. You have ID? Yes. Yeah, so okay. I'm, I'm figuring. Was it any trouble for you to get one? No. Was it hard? Okay. All right. If, if it's hard for some seniors to get out, if you're talking about the seniors, maybe, uh, if it's hard for them to get out, go around and get them, take them out. They have non, non-driver's ID. But, uh... I mean, who's to say if you're going to vote and vote, that's me? I think everybody should have ID. Everybody is. So they know who's who. You need to know who's who. Yeah. yeah. Personally, I think your, your word is your bond. So I think that um, whatever, whoever you say you are, you should be. Do you have an ID? Yeah. And you didn't have any trouble getting it? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, this is what I heard. So, so I mean... It's We're incredible. led to believe that African Americans are on board with this nonsense that they can't get ID. That must be so insulting. I, if so, this was I me, think the whole thing be so uh, insulting. Uh, can you imagine where you were being used for someone else's gain? Yeah, you're being that's all because that's all that's happening here. Yeah, you're being used for someone else's gain. Did you see what? Um, uh, oh shoot, um, he was on last week. He used to be the head of the NAACP here in Texas. Uh, the the preacher that was on with us last week, and he came out and he said, what's happening in Florida is wrong. They're using uh, people like Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton are using the death of this kid, and this isn't, this isn't anti-black. This is, 
This is wrong. Mm-hmm. The, it, I don't know if you saw this. Yeah. The former or the head of the Black Panthers, the old Black Panthers, has come out now against the new Black Panthers and said, you know, we used to be for something. <laughs> the Black Think of this. The Black Panthers used to be for black power. You guys, the new Black Panthers, you're anti-white. That's all that is. I mean, there's there are people inside now of the radical Black Panthers saying, you know, I, I've had enough of this. Mm-hmm. And you expect, uh, you know, nonsense from the new Black Panther Party. But it's like you play clips from, I mean, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Yes, I'm mean, one of the leaders in the Democratic Congress who's saying these things. That's not, I mean, not just only completely, uh, you know, uh, I mean, with the evidence you just played, which is somewhat anecdotal of people just in the street saying it. But, I mean, the polling backs this exact thing up. 62, by a margin of 62 to 29. Black uh, wow. ba- Black Americans say, I want photo ID at the polls. Not just ID. That's African American 62 to 29? 62 to 29. Overall, the percentage wow. for uh, all Americans is 75 to 18 in favor of photo ID at the polls. Uh, wow. How can you possibly be wow. against it? I don't know. I, I, seriously. I don't know and anyone against it. Wasserman Schultz's quote was, there's about getting an ID, about having an ID before you can vote. There's cost involved. There's effort. Oh, excuse me. So what? <laughs> the same thing. There's effort. You should. Voting should is a privilege. Vote? Yeah. It's a privilege. Right. And, and just like driving, ridiculous. it is a privilege. It takes time. You have to take a test. It you takes effort. You don't have to take a test to vote. But you do have to be, you have to be a citizen to vote. You do have, if everything is effortless, it means nothing. Since when were we promised our citizenship would be effortless? You know, let, me, uh, let me ask you something. It Never. Takes, it takes time and effort. I have to go down and register here in Texas to vote, be able to vote. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Think about that. These are the people. So, wait, wait, wait. So why? Why? Why don't we just make yeah. it so I can just show up at any poll in America and I don't even have to be registered? Yeah. That takes mm-hmm. time and effort. These are the people that constantly are berating us with tens of thousands of pages of new regulations. Yes. You can't open up a bit. You have yeah. to wait months at times to open up businesses and do your basic human functions. And yet, here we are, th- th- this one thing that's, you know. So you, critical. It's so critical to the basis of our entire country, and you can't get an ID? And what was it? 80% of the African Americans he talked to understood the issue and were like, of course, of course you've got to prove who you are before you it can is vote. So, of course. so insulting to African Americans. Just like everybody else does. And it's insulting yeah. to immigrants as well. Yeah. It is. It is so insulting to immigrants. I mean, Tanya's family, when I first met Tanya, um, her family, they st- still had. We'd have dinner on Sunday night at her house, and it would be lasagna or spaghetti every single time. And they were Italians, and I mean, it was—they were talking in Italian. They were it was still the old, you know, the old generation that had come off the boat, and so they were still speaking in Italian. There's not a single one of them, not a single one of them, that would have uh, that would have said, "Hey, hey, hey!" Anybody who comes over here can vote. They knew that it was a privilege, and the people who come through the doors the right way are not looking for free stuff, but want a part of the American dream. Mm -hmm. They they want to make sure they're living by the law as well. They want to make sure that they understand that's a privilege, because it's a privilege they don't have in their own country. They also understand that they went through the process, so they expect others to do the very same thing. If I did it, you can too. There's no free ride here. Yeah, and there's literally nobody that disagrees with this, uh, no group that disagrees with this concept. Liberals, liberals, people who identify themselves as liberal have a 60 to 32 uh, uh, p- p- response in favor wow. of requiring photo IDs at the polls. Democrats is 63 to 28. So even Democrats and liberals are completely on board with this. By the way, they're also on board with saying that the uh, individual mandate is unconstitutional, but that's another story. But I mean, this is widespread support. And it's blatantly obvious to every human being that, yes, you should be able to prove who you freaking are before you vote in this in this country. That's a pretty good indication of why Ben Jealous of the NAACP took this to the U.N. then. Exactly because right. he's got no case with the American people. You We're going to tell him to shove it. you you got to go across the water. <laughs> nice and Thank you, you. You have to go across the water to people who have no mm-hmm. idea except what they see on television. Yep. And what are you seeing on television? What are you hearing from our own president? Think about the way... The Americans are being portrayed now in the rest of the world. They have no idea who we are. 
They have no idea who we are. The way the Tea Party, think about going over someplace overseas and being saying, yeah, I'm a member of the Tea Party. What they must think, because all they get is the, is the impression from our media and theirs. There's no, there's no shot of them not thinking. You, you can't tell me that this, um, uh, this shooting in Florida is not a big story about America overseas. That's how it's being portrayed, I'm sure. Exactly right. We are well, exactly all evil right. haters. Evil haters. Here's a guy who's a white Hispanic. He just gunned them down in the streets. They love those kinds of stories because they don't have guns. And so, see, this is what that's why their media, their elites, their government loves these stories because, see, it's the Wild West over there. And you're just getting shot all the time. When all we've done as a country is stop these injustices that mainly came to us from Europe. And also have gone around the world trying to stop horrible genocides and other countries who have done terrible things to their own people. How many, t- how many countries have we bailed out of that situation? All right. 